toy their pupils. Welcome aboard! You are now on board for our English voyage today. We will be commencing our deeper adventures and exciting language journey. I am Teacher May and I will guide you in every step of the way. How are you today? I hope you are safe and in good health. I am happy to welcome you to another fun-filled episode. Did you answer the assignment I gave to you last time? Great! Let us check your answers on page 10. For this assignment, you were asked to read a selection with words containing affixes. You are to identify the meaning of the underlined words using context clues by looking for the answer in the given choices. Let's start! The first underlined word in the selection is fictional. Fictional superhero. What does the word fictional mean? A. Imaginary B. Natural or C. Animated If your answer is letter A, that's correct. We have the word fiction meaning untrue and the suffix al which stands for having the form or character of. Number 2. Regularly Regularly published Another word for regularly is A. Ordinarily B. Annually, C. Frequently. If you answered letter C, then you're right. For the word regularly, we have the word regular, which is defined as happening with the same pattern of time. It is added with the suffix li, which indicates how an action or event happens. Let us proceed to number three, famous. Famous character. Which is the closest meaning of famous? Is it A. Rich, B. Admired, C. Well-known? If you wrote down letter C, you got the correct answer. Famous has the word fame or the state of being known. It is with the suffix is, which means full of. Now to number 4, writer, writer Bill Finger. What does this word mean? A. Author, B. Encoder, C. Director. If your answer in number 4 is letter A, you earned another point. Writer has the word write and the suffix er which indicates a person carrying out an action. Number 5. Specializing. Specializing in covert operations. Is the correct answer A. Working, B. Studying, C. Admiring. If your answer in number 5 is the letter A, that is true. Specializing also means working because specialize means to be engaged in a particular activity. The suffix ing specifies that an action is happening now. Let's figure out more what you hit and miss. For number 6, dangerous. Dangerous Gotham City. What does this word mean? Choose from A. Serious B. Unsafe C. Terrifying If your answer is letter B, you are doing the right thing. To be dangerous also is to be unsafe. Because of the word danger and the suffix is, which means full of. Number 7. Unlike Unlike most superheroes. What did you write down as your answer? Did you write A. Not similar to B. Not included in C. Not a member of If you wrote down letter A, obviously it is correct. In here, we have the prefix un, which is another way to say not. So, unlike simply means not similar to. For number 8, inhuman, inhuman superpowers. What could this word mean this time? Could it be A. Cruel, B. Non-human, C. Brutal? If your answer in number 8 is letter B, that is definitely spot on. Like the prefix in, the prefix in is an expression for the word not. With that, inhuman means not human. It is getting easier, right? Number 9. Extraordinary. Extraordinary arsenal of weaponry and equipment. Does it mean A. Cool, B. Expensive, C. Superior? 
if you put C as your answer for number 9, then you are getting another point. We have the prefix extra that means exceptional or special. This changes the meaning of ordinary and turns the word superior as the closest meaning. Are you getting a good score already? Then let us put this to a close. Let us have the last number. Number 10, anti-crime. Anti-crime superhero is the correct answer. A, against crime. B, avoiding crime. C, doing crime. If your answer is letter A, add that to your score. Anti-crime has the prefix anti and that means against. When paired with the word crime, you will get letter A. Through constant practice, you will sure get better every day. So, don't get tired doing your assignment on time. It is a good way for you to test what you know and for you to know what else you should improve on. Our word venture would not be complete if we would not have our spelling time! We have five words to spell. Number one, blended. Again, blended. Number two, workaholic. Workaholic. Number three, video cam. Again, that is video cam. Number four, globish. Globish. And the last item, number five, internet. Once again, internet. Are you done? Okay, let's check your answers. Number one, blended. That's B L E N D E D. Blended. Number two, workaholic. W O R K A H O L I C. Workaholic. Number three, video cam. V I D E O C A M. Video cam. Number four, globish. G L O B I S H. Globish. Number five, internet. I N T E R N E T. Internet. Fantastic! I know you're getting better every day in spelling. Keep it up! Do you still remember our lesson from the previous episode? That's right! It's about inferring the meaning of words with affixes using context clues. We defined and described affixes and its types, the prefix and suffix, and the ways to infer the meaning of words that contain affixes through context clues like synonyms, antonyms, word parts, and other strategies. We have learned that two or more words can be joined to make a new word with a new meaning. We also learned that there are word parts that are added to a base or root word to make a new word. These word parts are called the prefix or the suffix which carries a meaning on its own. So, when a prefix or a suffix is added to another word, it changes the meaning of the word to which it is added to. As I always say, words are unique and they are formed in different fantastic ways. Oops, what do you call these images? You can see these images on Messenger, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Perfect! These are called emoticons. Do you know that the word emoticon is a combination of two different words? Yes, you've heard that right. We could combine words to produce other words. We will find out more of these words as we go on with our language journey. In our journey with words, context clues would be our guide to help us in finding the meaning of words we do not know yet. Do not be discouraged easily because context clues are our reliable companions. As we dive into our lesson, let us unlock three important words. These are the three words which we need to find the meanings of. Blending, smog, and telecast. When we say blending, it refers to the process of joining a part of one word and a part of another to form a new word with a new meaning. 
When we say smog, it refers to a fog combined with smoke and other atmospheric pollutants. When we say telecast, it refers to a television broadcast. The words smog and telecast are formed through the process of blending. They are created by combining parts of different words. I know you got curious what other words in the English language have been blended or combined to create a new word. This word venture could not be any more exciting as to meet new vocabulary along the way. Let us answer activity number one. Directions. Read each sentence carefully. Look for the meaning of the underlined words from the choices below. Number one. My office mate is a workaholic who almost never takes time off. Is it A. Tireless worker? B. Frontline worker? C. Drunkard? D. Wine expert? Number two, the player missed the ball with his first swipe. Is it A, touch, B, run, C, strike, D, throw? Number three, I added an emoticon to my comments on Facebook. Is it A, a pictorial representation of a facial expression? B, a face of a famous celebrity? C, a kind of letter font? Or D, a coded message? Number four, my friend needs to chillax due to a busy schedule. Is it A, watch a movie, B, work slowly, C, rest a bit, D, relax and unwind? Number five, many people get frustrated when they surf the internet. Is it A, telephone directory? B. World Wide Web C. Local Network or D. Satellite Feed Are you done? Great! Be ready and let us check your answers. Number 1. My office mate is a workaholic who almost never takes time off. In this sentence, the word workaholic is defined as someone who almost never takes time off. It is used to describe the office mate. The underlined phrase gives us an idea that a workaholic is a person who often clocks out working. In the choices, the closest meaning is letter A. Workaholic means a tireless worker. Number 2. The player missed the ball with his first swipe. If you have seen a baseball game, you would know how frustrating it is when the player misses his pitch. With that, the answer is letter C. Swipe means strike. Number 3. I added an emoticon to my comments on Facebook. For number 3, we could infer what emoticon means using the word Facebook. When making our comments on Facebook, we could type what we like to say or express what we feel using icons. With that being said, the answer is letter A. Emoticon means a pictorial representation of a facial expression. Number 4. My friend needs to chillax due to a busy schedule. The word chillax in sentence number 4 is used as a suggestion because of the friend's busy schedule. We could infer that having a loaded list of to-dos makes one crave for a long time to recover his energy. Therefore, the correct answer is letter D. Chillax means to relax and unwind. Number 5. Many people get frustrated when they surf the internet. Oh, internet is an everyday word. Number 5 must be like a bonus item for you. The correct answer is letter B. Internet means the World Wide Web. 
Did you get all the items correctly? Very good! We have been practicing inferring or guessing the meaning of an unfamiliar word. Soon, it will be easier for you to navigate the meaning of unfamiliar words using context clues. What are context clues again? Context clues are hints that a writer provides to help the readers get the meaning of a difficult or unusual word in a sentence. Context clues may be in the form of a synonym, an antonym, an explanation, or a specific example. The tone or the mood of a sentence could also give us an idea what an unfamiliar word means. Once again, let us have the words we had in our previous activity. They are workaholic, swipe, emoticons, chillax, internet. These words are blended words. Now, could you guess what words were combined to form them? Let us answer a pop quiz using these words. Look at the words inside the box. Choose two words that you think were combined to create the words I showed a while ago. I will give you a minute to do this. Time's up! Did you have fun blending words on your own? Great! Let us check if your answers are correct. Workaholic is the combination of the words work and alcoholic. The word swipe is created when we blend the words sweep and wipe. Emoticons is emote and icons put together. Here is our fourth word, chillax. It is created when the words chill and relax are joined. Now to our last word, internet. Do you know that it is a combination of the words international and network? That was a lot of fun! From the words that we joined, we could notice a certain pattern of how words are blended. Blended words are usually created in two ways. First, by adding the first part of the first word to the second part of the second word. Here are a few examples. Chill and relax is chillax. Breakfast and lunch is brunch. Electronic and mail is email. Second, by combining the beginning of two words. Some examples are international and network is internet. Costume and play is cosplay. Situation and comedy is sitcom. The different patterns of word blending show us how dynamic a language can be. New words are created every day to fit our changing ideas, habits, and lifestyle. Let us have more examples of blended words in this activity. Directions Let us see if we can match the blended words with their original words. Match column A with column B. Write your answers on your paper. For this, I will give you a minute. In column A, we have number 1, camcorder, number 2, telecast, number 3, bionic, number 4, glamping, and number 5, globish. And in column B, we have A, television and broadcast, B, global and English, C, glamorous and camping, D, camera and recorder, E, biology and electronic, F, telephone and castle.
Are you done? Okay, let us now check your answers. The answer for number one is on letter D. Camcorder is the combination of the words camera and recorder. The answer for number two is on letter A. Telecast is the words television and broadcast joined. The answer for number three is on letter E. Bionic is the blend of the words biology and electronic. The answer for number four is on letter C. Glamping is the combination of the words glamorous and camping. And the answer for number five is on letter B. Globish is global and English together. We can infer or guess the meaning of the unfamiliar blended word through context clues with the use of synonyms, antonyms, explanation, or specific example. For us to practice what we have learned today, let's answer activity number three. Figure out the meaning of the underlined blended word in each sentence. Use other strategies as well such as context clues to further unlock its meaning. Write the letter of the correct answer in your notebook. Number 1. The organization has launched a telethon to secure funds for the purchase of personal protective equipment of frontline workers. What is the meaning of the underlined word? Is it A. Sports event attended by famous people B. Televised fundraising event or C. Series of telephone calls Number 2. The campus journalist recorded a fire incident in his video cam. What is the meaning of the underlined word? Is it A. Video camera recorder B. Camera trick C. Shooting Number 3 the heliport is ready to receive representatives from other countries. What is the meaning of the underlined word? Is it A. Landing and take off place for an airplane? B. Bus stop? C. Landing and take off place for a helicopter? Number 4. The high-tech super microscope is very helpful to the scientists who study the nature of the coronavirus. What is the meaning of the underlying word? Is it letter A, technologically advanced, B, a style of material, C, a kind of equipment? Number 5. The docudrama on the coronavirus that was shown on TV last night was quite impressive. What is the meaning of the underlined word? Is it A. A drama documentary B. A comedy show C. A talk show Are you done? Okay, let's check your answers. Number 1. The organization has launched a telephone to secure funds for the purchase of personal protective equipment of frontline workers. If your answer in number 1 is letter B, it's correct. Telephone means televised fundraising event. Number 2. The campus journalist recorded a fire incident in his video cam. Letter A is the answer for number 2. Video cam means video camera recorder. Number 3. The heliport is ready to receive representatives from other countries. If your answer in number 3 is letter C, it's correct. Heliport means landing and take of place for a helicopter. Number 4. The high-tech super microscope is very helpful to the scientists who study the nature of the coronavirus. Letter A is the answer for number 4. High-tech means technologically advanced. Number 5. The docudrama on the coronavirus that was shown on TV last night was quite impressive. Letter A is also the answer for number 5. Docudrama means a drama documentary. How was your score? 
A mistake or two is fine. If you had more than that, you could still answer the remaining items as your practice. Diligence is also an important factor when learning new words. Before we end our quest, let us look back on the new things we have learned. Blended words are words formed by combining parts of two different words. Blending refers to the process of joining a part of one word and a part of another to form a new word with a new meaning. Blended words are usually created in one of two ways. First, by adding the first part of the first word to the second part of the second word and second, by combining the beginning of the two words. For your assignment, kindly answer pages 7 and 9 of your self-learning module 2, lesson 3. We will check this in our next episode. I hope you have learned a lot from this episode. Always remember, learning a language is like a voyage of discovery. Set a course, take heart, and soon, you'll be in shipshape and Bristol fashion. Till our next day of learning, bye!